This is Grapevine, Texas, the uh, most Christmassy place in Texas, and uh, it's bitter cold right now in the 40s. Uh, going to get myself, actually in the 30s, going to get myself something to eat over here at Main Street Bakery. Yummy! It's a Wonderful Life on the marquee for a movie theater. I mean, seriously. Does it get any more Christmassy than that? I don't think so. Oh, it's cold out there. Like, it's really cold. Really, really cold. So here's something you may never have seen before. This is what it's like to start up an electric car. That's it, it started. There's no motor, no starting. You just boop, hit the button and it's... So that's it, that's the, uh, the little town of Grapevine, the most Christmassy place in Texas. And uh, it's pretty cool that I live uh, in Grapevine because there's so many cool little shops and restaurants and you know, it's just got that nice little small town feel, um, which is you know how I grew up. Obviously I grew up in Pittsburgh, which is way different than Texas, but um, no, I'm very lucky and uh, grateful to live there. Cool place. So one thing that I found out the hard way one day is that this road is actually 40 miles an hour. And coming off of the highway, you might find that hard to believe uh, because when you're coming off those ramps, you're probably doing 65, 70, and all you have is this little small sign to tell you. But um, I got a $300 ticket one day, uh, which helped me learn it's 40 miles an hour. There's like eight lanes, but it's only 40 miles an hour, so. If you're driving uh, on the access road here on 114, drive slow, don't get a ticket. So today I'm headed out to Roanoke, Texas, and uh, that is where uh, I'm doing something very special out there, building my first home. So I'm very excited to uh, go and take a look. I understand there's been a lot of progress on it, and uh, I'm excited to go and kind of see where we are. that had just been poured. Um, so there's been just a little bit of progress since then. Holy shit, it's the entire house! Hear it? I'm not sure if I mentioned how cold it is, but it is that cold. That's how cold it is. Every time I come inside, my glasses fog up. It is freaking freezing right now. This is just really pretty. I mean, that's really, really pretty. All right, I haven't used one of these in a long time. Charge point. Charge below. Okay. Here we go. The card is now authorizing. Hey, look at that. Port one. There we go. And look at that. Hey, we got charge. 
awesome. Look at that. Good stuff. Now I know I can get home. So one of the trickiest parts to driving an EV is having enough energy to get where you need to go. Now the problem is further compounded when it's cold because that means the batteries um, have to use electricity to keep themselves warm. So on a cold day like today, uh, it's 15 degrees. Uh, I'm using way more energy than I would typically use um, just on this short little trip. So uh, very lucky here, the town of South Lake uh, supports EV drivers and uh, I'm parked ne next to this little um, Mitsubishi number, I'll have to get a little clip of it. But luckily the charge point station worked flawlessly, uh, so my car will be nice and charged so I can have heat on my way home because it's freaking freezing cold outside. That's the one I want. So it is still really, really cold, but I am walking over to the Apple store to check out the new MacBook Pro because I haven't seen it yet. I'm kind of curious what it looks like, so let's go and take a look. Probably be helpful if I paid attention to that map because I just walked in a big circle. You know, I think the biggest barrier for uh, vlogging for a lot of people is the ability to walk around in public with a camera pointing at your face, talking to yourself, when you're by yourself. I really, I don't have a problem with that. I did. But at some point, I don't know when it was, I just decided um, I'm going to do what I want. So anyway, let's go check out this laptop. There are literally people waiting outside the store for it to open. Um, it's freezing cold. So I guess they open at 12 o'clock. Um, I'm not buying anything. So I will check that out when it's actually open. I'm gonna go write some Christmas cards. office Christmas cards done, which is great because now the Apple store is open and we can go and check out that uh, new MacBook Pro. I'm going to give you an update on the weather. It's still completely freezing out here. Holy cow, guys. There's literally a line once you get in the store. Try not to get hit by a car as I walk over there. Yeah, there's legit a line of people waiting to get in. really expensive computer and I don't really know what the benefit is of spending three thousand dollars on a laptop unless you just have to get the OS I mean I get it beautiful computer well constructed but I just feel like I could probably get a Windows machine for a thousand dollars less spend that money on getting a drone and be way better off but I don't know what about you are you an Apple purist do you think that's what you need to get I've never owned one, so I don't know. Let me know what you think. Yeah, almost charged. Not completely, but enough.
can't remember to mention this, but it's really, really, really cold outside. Uh, my car right now says it is 19 degrees. Brr. Everything was going fine. Uh, just finished running all of my errands, about to go home, thinking, yeah, it's gonna be a productive day. And then I hit the mall traffic. 